welcome back to another video it's brandy here if you are a new subscriber thank you so much for tuning in i hope you stick around and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support oh y'all like girl where you been and i'm gonna tell y'all i had to okay so i did a poll and the girls were saying that they wanted two youtube videos a week so i was like okay cool i can do that but i had to like skip a week so that i could get ahead of my content if that makes sense so yeah that's where i've been but don't worry from here on out you guys we're coming with the videos i am currently at duncan how do i so i'm about to y'all told me what to get in the comments so i'm about to pick an order and see which one i'm about to go through my comments on my last youtube video and see what y'all was telling me to get because i told y'all i want to be a dunking girly did you know you can increase your rep Ciao. okay let's see what y'all got somebody said their dunking order is a caramel iced coffee with cream sugar and whipped cream with caramel drizzle um somebody said matcha latte with almond milk two pumps of liquid sugar somebody said a medium salted caramel cold brew with four liquid sugar three cream and cold foam on top a medium cold brew with sweet cold foam three pumps of caramel swirl okay let me see i think i'm gonna get a cold brew i think i'm gonna try this just key money key money i think i'm gonna try this you can choose the fast and work to get started for you guys um hi can i have a medium salted caramel cold brew with four liquid sugars three creams and cold foam on top salted hold on say that again babe. um the a medium salted caramel cold brew mm -hmm. with four liquid sugars three creams and cold foam on top yes ma'am we'll see you line up that one okay okay thank you no problem okay now keep money girl i'm gonna see you Y'all know I told y'all I'm a Starbucks girly, but I be wanting to be Dunkin' because first of all, Dunkin' is so freaking affordable. Nobody has time to be spending ten dollars on a drink every time they go to Starbucks. Like, please, please. Hopefully, it's good though. I um, I think next time I'm gonna try the matcha. I think next time I'm gonna try their. I feel I've had their matcha before, but I didn't get anything like special in it. So next time I'm gonna probably get some something special in it. So y'all know my baby's birthday is Sunday and we're having like a little party for her. It's going to be at a jump park. Um, and then she's going to Disney where we're going to Disney. I don't like the way this one look, y'all. You had the... The uh, salted I'm caramel? Five, okay. So, I'm about to see. This is it. This is what it look like. D don't talk about my nails either. Okay, because I'm trying to wait to go get them done so I can do a maintenance vlog. <laughs> Because the girls said they wanted to see a maintenance vlog, so I'm trying to hold off because I get my hair done next week too. I'm getting some braids because we're going into squat tober, so I'm gonna be in the gym a lot, and I cannot have no sewing. But okay, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Let's try. Oh no, the cream needs to go in some more. I don't play like that. I feel like it ain't stirred up enough, huh? Oh my god. That cold foam. Oh my god. Y'all want me to tell y'all what Duncan remind me of and what I like about it? It reminds me a lot of like house coffee. <laughs> if that makes sense. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, my bad, y'all. Back to talking about this coffee. Yeah, I like it. It tastes very like not a lot of sugar y'all know how like sometimes starbucks can taste real sugary this tastes more like something similar to what i would make at home and i like that smell i'm about to go ahead and get a wax and i'm gonna have to take actual gunda y'all know please think i refuse to get a wax without taking actual gunda i don't know my palms be in there sweating like i be so i can just never brace myself for them to rip hair out of the you know what i'm saying the private area i can never brace myself for that so this helps me relax you know and it go it go pretty quick 
and then I haven't been in like a month so it's time I have to take it before I get my waxes like there's literally just no other way because I've been there panicking I also was thinking about doing laser like down there I had an appointment but I ended up canceling it because I chickened out I seen a video on TikTok and somebody was like it feel like somebody popping you with a rubber band like a uh, hundred rubber bands popping on your skin do y'all know how bad that like somebody popping you like that stings really bad so i was like having to feel that constantly no no thanks but yeah okay key money i like this i think i want to try like next time i get this maybe get like extra creams or something and then the cold foam that was on top i need extra of that because that was so good also, y'all, I'm about to go in here and after I get my wax, let me just tell y'all what we're doing. So, after I get my wax, I was thinking about, I need to go to Target. Well, Target or Lowe's. I kind of want to have, like, a fun little night with me and Callie where we kind of, like, you know, put the Halloween decorations outside. And I let her, like, paint a pumpkin and we watch, like, a Halloween movie something fun like a halloween night as we get the house ready for halloween like the front yard because i bought some um like ghost projectors yesterday from target and she was so excited about that y'all my baby was so excited about that so definitely want to go to target to get some more they, they didn't really have like a lot of stuff it was like very picked over so i was like oh, i probably can go to lowe's and see if they have like some inflatables or you know something like that um where she can see it like blow up in the yard and you know we just vibe out like you know watch a halloween movie and bake some cookies and let her paint a pumpkin or like do some kind of arts and crafts situation something so that's what i want to do so i need to go to target and pick up some stuff for that and then i already told you i want to go to longhorns i'm i'm in the mood for a steak today i just really want a steak and longhorn steak be chef's kiss chef's kiss do y'all hear me with them brussels sprouts Mm -mm -mm. so that's what i want to eat today and plus it only be like 25 dollars. so i'm gonna treat myself because i haven't like taken myself on a date in a minute so i'm gonna do that today and then what else i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna go home and like clean up and stuff and just finish like little stuff for callie's birthday party this weekend and tomorrow i think for her class i'm gonna order pizza for her class and then in the afternoon have them cupcakes and like ice cream and stuff i'm probably gonna get a piece of order to the school and then they they have lunch like around 11 15 and so get them a pizza delivered to the school and then like around two or three o'clock i guess when they wake up from their naps and like when they're all getting ready to go home and stuff have them cupcakes and ice cream and stuff like that she is having a party on sunday and y'all already know how i feel about birthday parties like i honestly just can't <laughs> Like, I honestly just can't. The anxiety that birthday parties bring to me needs to be studied. Because I just get freaked out. Like, I don't know. I feel like the thought of having to, like, entertain people. Like, making sure that people are, like, entertained and, like, they're not bored or, like, oh, I'm ready to go. But it, it is so funny because I say that. I say that. But when I take my baby to birthday parties, I don't think like that. Like, I be so occupied with trying to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to see what she doing and you know enjoying a birthday party so but for some reason when i'm hosting <laughs> when i'm the host like i'm like dang you know like i hope nobody's like bored or ready to go but that's why i love to do like the little two hour parties okay but let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think tell me if i'm being crazy or not but it just gives me anxiety Yeah, I really, really, really like this. I'm about to go see if they have like some um, some more mats that this can go on top of because this is pretty big. So I don't know how it would fit like with uh, another rug under it or would I need to get this and then put like something smaller on top of it because it's pretty big. But I don't know, I'm about to go see.
Y'all, these are literally the best gumballs. And I told y'all I want to do something with Kelly where we kind of like have a fun little Halloween night. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. I picked two of them. All right, so I'm going to see what else. I need to have like, I don't know when I'm going to get. I'm probably going to make treat bags for my neighbors like for Halloween I'm probably gonna make treat bags instead of like having a bowl of candy so but I'll get that stuff later more than likely or should I get it while it's in here baby because y'all know they don't play about Halloween all this gonna be gone <laughs> gee see something like this I probably should go ahead and get these like have these in like the Halloween in like a Halloween um, bin and just sit it on the front porch because, hold on. Probably have these in like a Halloween bin and sit it on the front porch because y'all know I gotta take my baby trick or treating. So, but I still want people to like stop by our house. So I'll probably get those. And of course, y'all know I have to grab this. Duh. <laughs> we get these for every holiday. We have to have that one. I'm trying to see what else. I think I'm not gonna get anything else until I really go home and search what it is I wanna do. But yeah. I do need to find a Halloween bucket though. Yeah, look at these gel clings. I think I'm gonna get some of these. I like these right here. Or let's do these. <laughs> Callie is gonna love putting these on the freaking window. This is just too cute. I think we like these too. Do you like these? I don't want the one with that cat on me. I don't know why I'm funny about cats. I think I just get this one. What else they got? I guess this stuff is for like parties. This would actually be something really nice to kind of like put on the, and it's only $5. I think I'm gonna get these. This is really nice to put outside for Halloween, like to put the treat bags in and I can just like keep refilling it, you know? I think we'll get this. So I was trying to really decide on if I wanted to let her carve a pumpkin. I don't know though. I've never like the pumpkin before, but I think it'll be fun like, for us to kind of do that together. And I see they have like pumpkin carving kits in here, but I don't know. Look y'all, they already got Christmas stuff out. That's the vibe right there. That's the vibe. <laughs> That's the vibe. Let's see what else we got over here. Look at this. My neighbors be having stuff like that, but I don't play like that. <laughs> I don't play like that. That, no. No. Okay, so what I was, I'm gonna show y'all what I was thinking. Yeah, what I was thinking about getting yesterday. We came in yesterday and all we got was like these ghost projectors that you put on the outside of your house and they like shine like little ghosts and stuff on your house. We already have that. Now, I don't wanna do too much Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to just be a little taste of Halloween and not doing the most. Y'all know what I'm saying. So I was trying to figure out, I, I want to do an inflatable, but not like, sometimes inflatables can be, I don't know, I don't know. But I was thinking that I could also maybe like do something like this. Just a little dash of Halloween because I have a toddler. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Not too much though, because Halloween still be looking real cheesy. It can start to look real cheesy. So I still want to do like, that's why I got the projector. You know what I mean? Because that'll be something fun that she can look at, but I don't know. I was also thinking about getting these steaks. I could maybe do these and like put these around the landscaping outside, which I think. They have the skeletons, but I don't want to do the skeletons. It's giving I don't like Halloween. That's what it's giving. But yeah, I think we'll do these.
Hey you guys, I'm back in the car from Target. I just got a couple of Halloween things. I went to Target last night. I think I told y'all that. So I really didn't get a lot in there today. I forgot to get some scrub daddies and some stuff to make the house smell good. So I picked that up too. But I'm finna eat one of these. I wouldn't tell y'all no lie. These in the eyeballs. Just too good. Like, okay, Target. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I finally just made it to Longhorn. I think I said Logan's in my last video, but it's Longhorn's. And I'm about to go in here and have a steak and plan some content out on my phone. But, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Hey you guys, so I am currently about to go and get Callie's cake. I know it's been like, I can't even remember the last time I picked up the camera, but anyway, I'm about to go and pick up Callie's cake because her birthday party is tomorrow. She's currently with her dad right now and then he's gonna take her to my mom so my mom can like braid her hair, make her look all beautiful for tomorrow. Well, make her hair look beautiful because she's already beautiful. But make her hair look really pretty for tomorrow, whatever. Um, I'm going to show y'all her outfits and some stuff that I picked up for her that came in the mail and what I bought today. But for right now, I'm just about to hop in the car and go downtown and go and pick her cake up from K&J's. And I'll show it to y'all when I get it. Hey, you guys. So, I am on the way. Let me turn this off. Because I know y'all like, girl, I can't even hear you. Um, anyway, I am on the way to get Callie's cake. How do I do Okay, so anyway, I'm two minutes away. They close soon, so let me tell y'all, my mama placed the order for the cake, right? And so she called me like an hour ago. We live, I like I live so far from here. Well, not far, but like 30 minutes. And so me and my mom just on the phone or whatever, talking about the birthday party tomorrow. And she's like, oh, I forgot. Um, we gotta pick the cake up today because they're closed tomorrow. So she was like, I forgot we have to pick the cake up today. And I was like, Mom, it's four o'clock. Like, what time do they close? Like, I'm at this point panicking because I'm like, great, my baby ain't gonna have no cake tomorrow. And they ain't called. They ain't called to be like, um, we ain't gonna come to get this baby cake. So, needless to say, I'm on the way to get the cake right now. I'm down the street, two minutes away. Well, should be one minute now. Yeah, one minute. I'm so excited to see how it looks. Like, I just really hope that it's what I wanted for her. Cause the theme of her birthday party is like groovy flower. Cause it's young, wild, and three with like the daisies and stuff like that. So, where is it? Oh, it's right there. I hate coming downtown cause I don't, child, I don't be on this way down here. Do I, can I turn this way? Okay, yeah. Can I? Yeah, I can. Um, but yeah, I had to go and get my hair fixed. Y'all know I'm getting braids. I'm getting braids next Saturday, but I did just want to get my hair like curled for the party tomorrow. I do not know how to curl. I do not know how to do hair of any sort. So I had to book me a quick little appointment. I haven't been down here in a minute. What's right here? Uptown Jazz. Did I tell y'all who's making her cake? K and J's 
is making her cake if you're from Birmingham and have ever heard of them then you know Crystal does her big one the cakes are always so pretty y'all look everybody is parked right in the front. what's going on Birmingham Eugene's hot chicken babe I'm gonna park right here can I park right there what is right here girl i should have parked the other way hold on because i'm not gonna go and park i'm not gonna go in no parking garage i'm just really not y'all know what i hate when i i hate when i drop stuff in between my seat or i mean maybe i could park right here i ain't gonna be in here long i'm just park right here all right y'all let's go get my baby cake <laughs> please don't get me police please I'm gonna take out the box. Oh my goodness. No, we'll have a date out. It's sure. so cute, yes. Uh -huh, thank you. I love these. Okay. What time y'all serve? Uh, four to six tomorrow. Okay. Just take it straight. This is the cake. How freaking cute. What? So cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Me, a girl mom, is just. I love it here. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I would love to be a boy mom too. Like just being a parent in general, but being a girl mom is so much fun. Like she's so cute. And then y'all, last night she had on um some heels. Y'all know like the little play heels or whatever, the little princess play heels or whatever. And so last night I had like washed her hair and stuff, and I had to get her stuff ready so she can go with her daddy. And I was like, Kelly, go ahead and go put on your shoes. You know, she looked me dead in my face. She looked me dead Hello. in my face. What can I help you with? I'm sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Oh, my car name is Princess. Um, but Why do y'all no. tell you? But do y'all know my baby looked me dead in my face? She had on a little princess shoes, whatever, and my baby looked me dead in my face and said, "When I was like, go put on your shoes," she looked at me. She said, "I have on my shoes." She said, "I have on my shoes, mommy." I said, "Oh." Excuse me. Am I turning this way? I think I am. I was like, oh, well, excuse me, Miss Mamas. She said she did have on her heels, baby. She said she had, and I let her wear out of the house, too. I mean, of course, I put real shoes in her backpack, but she wanted to wear her heels. And who am I? Who am I to stop her, you know what I'm saying, from being a princess? Like, I would never. I would never. So I was like, yeah, period, baby. Keep the heels on. I'm, I'm with you 100%. So, yeah, I know that she's really just having the time of her life, literally. Getting her nails and her toes done. But she probably not going to be in the best mood because I told y'all my mom got to do her hair. My mom got to braid her hair. And this will be her third time getting her hair braided. Because y'all told me on TikTok, y'all was like, yeah, baby, she old enough to get her hair braided. Because I, I didn't know, like. I'm excited for her to see her cake. It's so cute. Like she literally, she asked for a huge cake for her birthday. Um, Cause we was like, you know, Callie, like, what do you want for your birthday? And she would always say like a big cake and a lot of toys. And I was like, period. Ask and you shall receive my girl. So I'm excited for her to see her big cake and to see all of the toys that she gets. She's so sweet. But yeah, now I'm just about to probably stop by. I'm headed home, but I'm probably about to stop by the store to grab a bottle of wine. The sun is really shining today. I'm probably about to stop by the store and grab a bottle of wine and head back home, finish cleaning up and getting her stuff ready for tomorrow. Like her um, her outfit and stuff like that because I'm going to head like straight to me. She's spending the night with my mama. Because ain't no telling what time my mom's gonna get done braiding her hair since she's gonna need breaks. But I'm just gonna go over there first thing in the morning. And I don't know, like, I'm thinking about taking her gift to her first thing in the morning, like, letting, like, letting it be like her gift of the day or whatever. Oh. Okay, you guys, so I just made it back home, and this is one of the things that I got her for her birthday. It is a baby born doll, my baby 
absolutely loves pretend play like she loves pretend play so y'all know for christmas we're doing i'm completely gutting her playroom out and we're starting over from literal scratch okay like i'm getting rid of everything i'm getting rid of everything and um, she's gonna have like a dress up area a play kitchen area a craft area and then a bookshelf for all of her books and stuff because my girl love a good story time so yeah that's i was like you know what i'm not gonna overdo it with the toys for her birthday because i'm not gonna lie like little small toys we didn't, i don't want too many of those she's still gonna have those in her playroom of course but they'll be like in her closet like in a bin maybe if i can find one or maybe like a toy chest of some sort i'm not sure yet i'll cross that path when i get there however i knew she would really really like this because again she loves pretend play and what i am gonna save they had like the little high chairs and like all of the accessories and stuff that go with these like baby borns so i was like perfect i'm gonna get that for christmas but for now we're gonna stick with the little baby doll i think she'll be happy with this um and then i got her like some play-doh and kitnetic sand little kits and stuff because she also loves stuff like that too but yeah, that's what I got my girl for her birthday. So I just got back home. I'm about to go put this stuff upstairs. I'm going to show y'all the shoes and stuff that I got for her. And also I'm going to show y'all her Halloween costume. Because I don't think I showed it to y'all. I'm going to show her Halloween costume. And then I'm going to take a bath. Come back downstairs. And girl, I got some wine. And I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. I'm going to make some beef and broccoli from Trader Joe's. And that's just what's on the agenda for tonight. Okay. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all. I just got out the shower and now I'm about to fix something to eat because I am literally starving. I have a headache and I think it's because I haven't eaten anything since earlier. I had Chipotle earlier. That carne asada quesadilla. Chef's kiss. Like, it's too fire. It's too fire. Okay? You have to try it. But yeah, I'm just about to make me a frozen dinner or frozen meal from Trader Joe's. I got like the beef and broccoli and it be fire. Okay, it's a little spicy. It's a little too spicy actually, but I'm gonna still eat it. That's what I'm finna eat right now. So we're about to eat this. This is the beef and broccoli from Trader Joe's. This is what it looks like. So yeah, let's get into it. These brookies. I hope my trainer don't watch this, but it's a brownie plus a cookie. Too good. It's too good. It's too good. Should I fix me a glass of wine? I should. We want all the vibes right now. Let me fix a glass of wine. I deserve it. I deserve it. I be breaking all my wine glasses, but baby. Here go one. Oh, this one broke. Hold on. Of course, my hands are like so freaking slippery. But did y'all watch that Colorado game? Why are people trying to hate Deion Sanders out? That is just really. Oh my god! Am I not? Okay, I was gonna say, am I not strong today? People are really trying to like count Deion out. And y'all know what? I truly hate that for them. Like. I don't understand the hate. Now, granted, I'm not like some football person. Like, I'm not a football person. Okay, I'm not. But I like Dion and what he stand for. So it's like, and to my knowledge, I don't think he's done like anything. Y'all can let me know in the comments because like, I don't know. But I don't think he's done anything like controversial. Like I don't, I don't, I haven't gotten that. You know. Um, hold on y'all. Warm skillet. You need one too. Hold on. Hold on. Stove top. Warm skillet. Over. Okay, so I gotta do the broccoli first. But yeah, so again to my knowledge he hasn't done anything like super controversial so the fact that everybody's like really hating on him just kind of baffles me because it's like what did he do like all i see is a black man winning <laughs>
What's the problem? This is gonna be so good. Now since Callie's birthday is tomorrow, well, okay, I know we're still going on the Disney cruise, but once we get back from the Disney cruise, that's when I'm gonna start on the Christmas stuff. I already made like a little link of, I made like a little link of everything that I want to get her. And my parent, like my mom and her dad, everybody can shop from it. My grandparents, they can all shop from the link. So I was like, that was a really good idea. It's kind of like Callie's gift guide, if you will. So hopefully that will be convenient for us this year. But I'm so excited. Like, I know doing her playroom is going to be a lot of work, but I think I'm up for the challenge this year. Like, I think I, my baby deserves it. Like, that playroom right now, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Also, y'all, this is the sauce that comes in the beef and broccoli meal. And this is the beef. <laughs> I know it don't look appetizing, but it's so good and it's so tender. Like, I was not expecting this to be tender when I seen it. I was like, first of all, it's gonna be so hard. Good, I like it. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna put the broccoli. It says like once all the water and stuff is evaporated, you can move it into another bowl. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just move it to this bowl. Cause it's been about like five minutes. So. Woo, this thing hit. Okay. Now we got that in there. I think I'm supposed to put like some um, oil in here. So. Okay, so I'm about to take this avocado oil and put just a little, I think it's like a teaspoon, but I'm just gonna like eyeball it. Woo! Okay, that should be enough. And then we have to like reduce the heat, increase heat. Okay. And cooking oil and heat into sizzling, add beef and stir. Okay. So it said I have to wait until the oil is sizzling. The oil is sizzling now, so we're gonna add our beef. Then we're gonna stir it around, let that heat up real nice, real good, real cute. You feel me? You feel me? All right, period. We cooking with grease now, so here's the broccoli. you guys and that is going to conclude today's vlog i hope you guys really enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all in the next video